All right, guys, today I'm going to be doing a very simple tutorial on how to make these sounds. Those traditional sidetrance, uh, squelches, zaps, whatever you want to call them. All right, starting off, let's initialize the preset. We don't have to change the randomized phase option today. Now we're just going to add a pitch envelope to the main saw wave sound. So let's have a listen. That's basically what we want it to sound like, actually. But just for a little bit more control, I'm moving this and turning envelope mode on. And I'm turning BPM off so I can control the rate myself. Great. Now we're going to add a bandpass filter, which is the main characteristic of this uh, sound. So you can hear already that it's got that effect um, and we're basically 90% done. From here, I'm going to bring the drive up because we've lost a lot of volume. And with this effect, you can really mess with the amount of the pitch envelope, where it starts, where the cutoff frequency is. There's a lot of small things you can do uh, to completely change the sound. For example, if I bring this to its reverse, you can really change the sound. Um, having a high resonance uh, can also make a big difference to um, that overall squelching effect that you have. Now we're going to go to the effects and add a multiband. Uh, compressor, which is basically just OTT over the top of it. And this just brings out some of that high end that we lost as a result of filtering it out. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is add a down sample effect with distortion. Um, so it's a very psychedelic um, sounding, I guess you could say. So this is that classic kind of down sample, beat crushed effect that's used in a lot of um, Psytrance tracks. From there, it's really personal preference. Uh, I love Serum's delay effect a lot. I change it to ping pong, bring the uh, Q down, and change the frequency to around 1000 hertz to 500 hertz ish Turn the feedback up, turn the mix up, turn link on, make sure it's dotted, and set this to 1 slash eight. You'll notice if you have a look at the top here that slowly the frequencies uh, get closer and closer to the middle until um, it sounds almost as if there's just one frequency playing. That's literally the sound. Um, you can do what you want with, so for example if I make a quick uh, macro on, whoops, if I make a quick macro on the cutoff knob, you can mess with an automation clip like this. So just having a side translate playing and this over the top of it can add a very side transy feel to it. I hope that was helpful. As mentioned in other videos, I do have a website and I do sell sample packs and you can check it out in the description. Thanks for watching and see you later.